So what I talk about the method that we use in order to help people get results, especially long-term results, and that's a coaching approach. So there's two different things you can focus on, a coaching approach and a training approach. And in order to explain this, I'm gonna use the analogy of trying to cook a meal. So a training approach would be like, imagine trying to cook a dish for the first time, and you were cooking it, and I stood there, and I told you uh, what to do as you went along, what temperature to have things at, what ingredients to put in, how to cook it, etc. And it came out and it was great. And then you were left to your own devices. When I wasn't there telling you what to do, and someone asked you to cook the same meal, you might remember a few bits and pieces, but you're unlikely to remember the whole thing. A coaching approach is a bit different. It's basically like you get in the cooking manual and someone standing beside you and giving you a guide as how to cook that meal using the manual as effectively as possible so you can kind of get through it um, without any problems and any problems that do arise the person standing with you can try to guide you through that and answer any questions and help you understand what you need to do and eventually getting to the point that you no longer need the cookbook or the manual you can cook the meal yourself and you can kind of tweak it whatever way you sort of want to and maybe you consult with that person, me in this instance, as to ideas and tips and things like this that you can improve it even further. That's really a coaching approach. When it comes to being able to take a long-term sustainable approach to things and get long-term sustainable results, a coaching approach is really absolutely necessary. It's under the idea that uh, you know what works for you, and whatever barriers you have towards the goal that you want to achieve are things that you're probably maybe putting in your own way or things that are running up against that you're trying to hard to navigate around. And the approach to that is helping you understand how you can navigate yourself around those barriers versus being told or instructed what to do and that maybe works and it maybe doesn't and if it does, great. If it doesn't, you're kind of a bit stuck. You don't know how to lateralize when you're running that. So a coaching approach takes your goal, understands where you're currently at, and helps you navigate a path towards that goal with you understanding what you need to do every step of the way and making decisions yourself so you have autonomy and basically ownership over the entire process.